My name is Mazan Denjanga and I'm a 2023 graduate from Tufts TPP program. Well, strangely enough, I guess one of your LinkedIn social media, you were introducing, I think, Durban, the Durban market to Mustandi. And so I signed up and I went for the first uh, trashing out, I don't know, it was a workshop of sorts, yeah. So I found out about that and then I got into contact with Um, Strange enough, not so much a tough client, but I'm responsible for tough revitalization in Tewini. So when I saw Claremont was on your pipeline, I think some of the Pine Town South, or the Began as a Ritz, then I, I, it was well within my interest to know what offerings are there because then I could be able to translate it to the work that I do. Well, what made me decide on TPE specifically, I was already in the property market in terms of rental income, housing, like for personally, but also I think my biggest interest was we don't get a lot of financiers that work in townships. So if part of my responsibility at work is also looking at how we could transform spatially in the townships so that they can at least provide some economic development. So we, we know very well how the economy has been and we're looking at other players coming into that space and not just relying on government grant funding. So that, how, that is how I was interested. And obviously when you're interested, I had to personally be the guinea pig before <laughs> I could start bringing in a lot more interest from people in the township like myself. Um, I think more than anything, because I'm in local economic development, it, it made a lot of sense, but it might have been a question of not knowing how to sequence the process of um, streamlining almost your, your idea into something tangible to a point of it being a viable business case. So the part that was missing, I guess, on my end was how to make my ideas into something that was viable, that, I could, that could be sellable and could translate to capital. So my experience and what I, this program gave me is how then do I translate my ideas which already had, were in existence into something that's tangible that I can be confidently putting out there and seeing how I could translate it into some kind of income generation. So that was my, my biggest thumbs up from the experience. Uh, my biggest take home from the program uh, is definitely the, the aspect of property management. So once you've attained a property and how you then look at income generating possibilities outside of the traditional leasing out, I think that was the biggest take home because part of the discussions we had would be looking at how you then create other means of income. So in a way, if it's in a busy node, considering adding other income generating aspects, which we, we never think of when we're looking of buying, you're always thinking of leasing and renting it out and that's it. So now it made me think more about the type of places that I'm looking at, whether it's within a transport node or not, whether it's within a student hub or not. So the sustainability part, I particularly enjoyed that in terms of the business of, if you would call it, back, back of house, the part that we don't really pay attention to here. Well, how we navigated the group work I would say because we now used to a hybrid setup, especially with um, COVID or the aftermath of COVID, we learned how to work in a hybrid situation. So the only thing we had to be strict when I think the first thing we started as a group was to assign roles and responsibilities and then give timelines for those roles. So you had to stick to your role and make sure every meeting that we have, which is set preset in terms of the schedule, you come back with progress and then you'd say your learnings or your shortcomings and then we would come and assist in that in that sense. So that was the biggest thing we did as a group to try and make sure that we meet our deadlines. Would I recommend TPPE to anyone? Um, as a start, uh, I would recommend it prior to you pursuing um, coming into this industry, I would say, because right now how it's been uh, how we've been doing it, I guess, all property entrepreneurs, is that we've been doing it by chance. You just buy your first property and get to the second one and third. And at some point, like I said, it would be beneficial for someone to, prior to investing, finding out what the strategic direction of each uh, metro that you're working in is really. Because like I'm saying, most of us don't know what the restructuring zones are for each metro. So it is, if you buy outside of the restructuring zone, you're not going to get the type of support that you want for densification and the like. So it's very important for someone before you come in to at least look at those things and understand And You can't understand those things just by word of mouth. You have to be in an environment like this one that will teach you to look at how restructuring zones work and how the city strategy is in terms of support, basically, to entrepreneurs.